Well, welcome back to my studio. I'm continuing work on this painting of Slovenia, villa overlooking the little village of Peron. And now I'm going to be blocking in these red poppies here. They're going to be mixes of, this is cadmium red deep, plus alizarin crimson. And I just start painting them over that block wall, or the rock wall, excuse me. And some of these are going to be going in behind the trunk of the olive tree. We're at a fairly high vantage point looking over this terrace. And so we see these flowers in behind the, the tree trunk. Because this is planted right in the middle of this bed. You can see on this large bright brush, it's a square, square headed brush, square shaped, and I can just use the corner of that brush to make my flowers. And they'll continue on over the edge of the, the canvas. In fact, let me just come around. I just bring them, this is painted in the gallery wrap style, so the painted part of the image goes over the sides of the canvas. And I block in, I block in the deeper red. I just, there are these just, this bed just goes right along the base of this wall. It's a nice pop of red in this Now this is cadmium, just plain cadmium red deep. The darker is cadmium red deep plus alizarin crimson. And some of these are going to break in front of my tree trunk. And so I start bringing some lighter reds in here. This is again my cadmium red deep. And I want to get my flowers in first when I'm blocking these in, and then I block, then I do my leaves in around the flower color. And that's because as I block this in, if I were to do the leaves first and then come back with the reds, my brush would pick up the greens and make my flower color muddy. So I just want to go ahead and, and get my red in here first. I'm not going to do the whole bed right now, but just I want to show you how this how this works. Just give you a little idea. If you're painting on your own, this, this gives you enough information that then you can go ahead and, and paint. And you can see the, the flowers, the, the leaves of the flowers come all the way down. The poppies will have a few of these fall over. In fact, some of these will fall over in front of the, the steps. I'll have a few down here. I'll just kind of make just smush a lot of color up there. And various, various shades of the red. Again, I want the ones under the tree to be darker there in shadow, but once we start getting out here, we'll start getting some of the brighter sunlit. And this again is my cadmium red deep, plus a little bit of cadmium red light. And then my highlights on the flowers will, when I come back at the end, will just be pure cadmium red light. Now I want to clean out my brush, swish it in my thinner, and I use turpentine or odorless thinner so that my studio space doesn't smell like turpentine. I use a lot of tissue. I want to clean all that red out of the brush. Now I start, the foliage is mixtures of phthalo blue plus cadmium orange plus white. Just makes a grayed green. And I start just painting this in and around my flower color. You can see I can use the tip of that brush. See my brush is, I don't know how well you can see it, but my brush has picked up some of the red on there. Which in painting the green it doesn't matter. Because I want the greens to be muted. But I wouldn't want that to happen if I had painted the green first and then painting the red around it or into it, then I would pick that color up and, and mess up my reds. So. I 
come back with a little lighter color on the leaves that are that are lighter. And I'm using, even using a little mix here of my phthalo blue plus liquid in the very dark. Makes a cool dark in the depth of the foliage. I can just work around my reds. Need to mix a little bit more of my liquid plus phthalo blue. I didn't get me enough there. As so we come back here, then this this is all in shadow, and actually this cups in behind the. The tree trunk here, the, tr the trunk of the olive tree. And there's some foliage back in here. Again, I want that to be, that's in shadow, so that's going to be a little bit darker. I'm not going to worry about going around the edge of the canvas right now. But that gray green really makes those flowers stand out. Now this, the flowers are on stems above the foliage, so here on these flowers are going to come up, but the foliage actually, you're going to see the tree trunk through there. And light's going to be hitting this foliage in here. some of my foliage come up over that, over the wall in that area. I want to make sure all those little spots in the canvas are, are covered. So I'm going to let the foliage be lighter in here where the sun hits this. And foliage, if you look at, at plants, there's a lot of variation of color within the greens. So that's, I use several different mixtures in different proportions of my, my leaf color. Those are all mixes of my phthalo blue plus cadmium orange plus white. And that all in different proportions, so I get different different shades and that that's adds interest. You don't want your greens all to be the same. Okay, I'm going to come back and start just showing you how I paint the flowers. And I'm going to brush out again. I use a lot of a lot of tissue. Get some darks in here. Okay. Use a lot of tissue. Secret to pretty can pretty colors, pretty clean colors on your canvas is a clean brush. If you get a dirty brush, then the colors on your canvas start to get muddy. So I'm going to start taking a little smaller brush here. And this is a mixture of my mud plus liquid. The mud is two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. And I'm going to start adding the dark centers of the poppies in there. And they're just a dark, dark round. Again, I'm just Coming back in, adding those. And 
Now, on these poppies back here, I'm going to take a, this is called a fine liner brush. It's just, you can make a nice fine line with that. And I'm going to start adding the stems. Let's use, the, I need a darker color for there. Oh, it seems like every time I start to make a video, the phone starts ringing. And I'm not going to answer that. I, if you've watched my videos before, it's just too interruptive to stop every time the phone rings. Most of the time it's somebody trying to sell something or political campaign stuff. And I just, I don't answer it. My friends know that if I'm painting, that they can just leave a message and I'll call them back. But I start adding the stems to these poppies. And they're also on the poppies, their little seed pot or their little blossom, their little pods come up and before they get open they have a little little head on them. And sometimes if it's just starting to bloom a little bit, that petal is just popping out. And those are one of the fun things about painting poppies that these little little pods, they're just fun to add here and there. They pop up above the foliage. And, and then you can add the add the little stems. These I add the stems coming in here. Now, I'll come back on these flowers. Now, these are in the, let me do some of these in the sunlight so you can see them. I'm using pure cadmium red light to then highlight these poppies here. Now, notice I have to just gently lay that color on top of the green so that, because it picks up, my brush picks up some of that green. I don't know how well you can see it but it picks up some of that green, and so I have to keep wiping my brush to keep my color clean. And that's how I highlight these poppies that are catching the sunlight. And that one I need to go back and refix the, the center part there. I'll just do this over the whole bed of flowers. This is, this is how I paint them. And then these poppies that are in the sun, I'll go ahead and paint their stems. Get those in there. I paint them lighter. And their stems wiggle and squiggle. Let's put another little Put a little bud right here. Now, if you want to see the entire step-by-step -step process of this painting, please visit my blog. I show it from the very beginning to the end, and you can see that on my blog. Just go, the link is in the description below. It's also, the address is on the final frame of my video. I've had a lot of people, they email me and ask, oh, well, we want to see, you know, how did you start this and everything. If you'll go to my blog, it's all there. And I do this so artists can learn learn how to paint. And uh, I'm also then, I do it, do the blog for two reasons. One, to help other artists. And second, when I do commissions, this is so my collectors can follow along and watch what I'm doing on their painting. So that's, that's how I paint the poppies. And again, I will just follow this same process across that whole bed of bed of poppies. Just again lay that color gently on there. So thank you for watching. Please feel free to ask questions in the comments section and you just have a wonderful wonderful day.